Hey, what's up, guys? Mike Boo here. So I am a kick booster. I am boosting this project because this caught my eye. This is called the Storm 2. It looks like an amazing battery pack. It has a little bit of a steampunk feel to it. Whatever you want to call it. They call it Cyberpunk 2077. I, I haven't really completely played the game yet, but I mean, just look at this whole thing going on over here. We got a complete see-through shell casing with an LCD panel. Looks like there's some power buttons here to adjust some things. There's multiple outputs. It looks like it's got a DC barrel input or output, USB-C, and two USB-A socket ports. And this is one of those things that would be really cool to carry around, not only for the geek and me, but it looks like it's a really well awesome design product. So we're gonna go ahead and take a look at this. And if you're interested in this product, please use my link down below. This is my affiliate link for this particular project. Now this one is probably going to finish up in a day or two. I know I'm getting into this a little bit late, but man, look how awesome this thing is. All right, we're gonna go ahead and do a quick view of the little video, show you a little bit about what's going on. Obviously, this is something that is meant to travel with you as an everyday carry. Uh, along with a USB-C output over to the MacBook as long as well as multiple USB-A outputs along with statistics on all the different outputs available and obviously the design just looks really amazing. Very nice and clean. If Apple were to create something that was underneath and hidden it might look like this except that this is see-through. Let's check out the video. Low battery before an important meeting? A power bank might help. Well, or maybe its battery capacity is too low for your laptop. Or this one? Huh, maybe not. How about this one? Introducing Storm 2, a power bank with cyberpunk style, see-through chassis, sci-fi monitor, everything about style and awesomeness. Built-in 27600 milliamp hours, high power density Panasonic lithium batteries. It can satisfy your weak... That looks like it is going to be completely aircraft compatible. Long charging needs. And this is not just any ordinary power bank. It is your Storm 2, the exquisite see-through. All right, that looks a little bit bigger than I thought it would be from the pictures. Design reveals the secret of Storm 2 by showing the sophisticated electron components. Its on-display power management system visualizes all the information. See, that's exactly the type of thing geeks want. With one exception, if they will allow us to easily access and open up the casing to replace the batteries, that would be just... That would just kill it. You want to know? Now, you can always find the best charging mode for your energy-intensive ah, devices through the DC output customizable DC that you can program and adjust port. and customize. It's also I appreciate that a lot. 100 watt PD rapid charge USB C1 for most modern electronics like your MacBook Pro, and a 30 watt fast charge USB C2 for your iPhone and Switch. There are times when we have multiple devices. Want to help your friends out? Storm 2 allows you to quick charge three devices at the same time. Now you are the energy center among your friends. Airline safe and approved with 99.36 and watt out. I'm always the energy center for my friends. Storm 2 is always your best travel companion. This is Storm 2, entitled with... I wonder why they call it Storm 2 Liquid. I hope it's uh, IPX certified as some sort of protection. Essence of style to a future power bank standards and created to make your modern life cooler, easier, and better. Get Storm 2 today, only on Kickstarter. All right, that looks pretty awesome. I got to say that one, the battery pack seems to be a little bit bigger than I thought it would be. And two, it would be nice to hear if there was actually some uh, water weather resistance on it and also some shockproofness, a little bit more rugged. But it looks like it's fairly naked, so I don't think they're going to have something like that. So let's see how much is this is going to run. It is, um, looks like it's going to start at... 
well, this late in the game, $109. $109 plus shipping, I don't think that's included. We'll collect shipping. Address and choice of add-ons as the campaign ends. So to ship anywhere to the world, looks like there's exactly... Oh, that's an early bird. $109 for the early bird. $119 for the Kickstarter special. Super early bird is $139. That includes a 65 watt charger. There's about 20 of those left. 65 watt double pack super early bird. So about $100. If you want to get one each, double pack is $218. Super early bird. So it's about $100 for each if you get in right now still uh, with the... Uh, Super early bird packages that are still available. Super duper early birds for one is out. That's a hundred dollars, no longer available. But there's still a couple days left. Sometimes people back out of it every once in a while, and uh, you can go in there and you can jump in and snap it up. Maybe people change their mind. Now looks look at that. So you also have. Oh, okay. So they're talking about the problems with other power banks. Some of this is very true. This is very stylish. I, and so as far as sufficiency in ports, I think it can only charge three things at once, three, maybe four things uh, directly from the, from the pack. Uh, has decent battery. Okay, low battery capacity, maybe bulky power bank, maybe. I have this one up here. I did a video about that. Great deal on it, still using it. Slow charging speed, that is a problem. Not airline safe and out of style. Now, how fast can you charge this? I like that it has pass-through charging capabilities. This basically allows you to charge it and use it at the same time through the power bank itself. That's pretty useful. Two USB-C, that's that's important. One USB-A and one DC output. I think for most people, they're not going to care about the DC output, but I am. Uh, that's really cool to have and something that you can program directly from the unit. It's a little bit hard to find nowadays. Yes, you can find it, uh, but no, not very easily outside of China. It's got 100 watt PD fast charging. I wonder if that's input and output. I like to see through design. Okay, so it's an, an hour and a half recharge time. So it's a little bit less than than uh, than the uh, than 100 watt uh, PD in there. So if it's 100 100 watt hours, you got 100 watts in there. Okay, cyberpunk style, right? Adjustable voltage output and control. That's that's pretty cool. Seeing as knowing. And then someone did a video on here. Here's a press kit. Click me to win. Want this for free? Sure. Oh, I see. See who the two winner. Oh, the giveaway has already ended. Looks like I missed it. You get a USB-C to C 5 amp cable. These run about $10 to $20. Storm 2 everyday carry sticker. Yeah. Don't really care about that. Canvas protection pouch. That would be nice to have. And a MagPower wireless charger. Oh, they didn't hit 1 million. They're not even close enough. And there is how much time left on this project? Three days to go. Yeah, they might not hit it. They might not hit it. Let's see. And then you get this. Uh, this is part of the kit. You get NeoPower. Eh, it doesn't look that special. I guess I'm not going to worry too much about this other MagPower stuff going on. That's probably not going to be as cool. This is really cool, though. Very colorful. Easier to see. You can see exactly what's going in, what's going out. It's long, also what wattage you're getting on these different um, outputs and also let you know if there are any issues with the battery or circuitry temperature. I wonder if there's an alarm sound that you can configure. Maybe, maybe not. So you do 5 volts to 24 volts, 3 amps, right? And that's all through USB-C. Yep, right over there. 25.2 volts output at 3 amps. That's cool. That's for the DC output. So you can straight up uh, charge most laptops with this directly from this battery pack like right up from the dc barrel plug out to your laptop you'll probably need a converter but it can do it that's cool all right here's the battery technology panasonic sanyo packs pretty standard looks like they still have early bird going on for this You know what? I'm really curious how much shipping will be to the United States because if they can tell us that, then you can find out the total price of it. So if you have a DC output plug, I guess that removes, let's see if there's any other frequently asked questions. Shipping customs, extra fees. Okay, that really doesn't help. Let's see about some updates. 
Let me find a week. We can't write giveaways, product stretch goals. Pretty cool. I hope that with the success of this battery pack. Yeah, how about a detachable battery pack we can swap out? Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. Um, I don't know. If, I think self swapping would be pretty cool, especially for some of us who have soldering skills. I have yet to see anybody uh, produce something like that that we could we could use. You know, I'm just a shipping. Cannot tell. Not new chargers, only want then the super, but yeah, right, right, right. How much is shipping? Does anybody say how much shipping is? Shipping rates. Ooh. Okay, $29 to India. I wish someone asked about what the shipping rate was for the United States, because $30, that brings it up to $130, $140. And at that price, you can get a nice battery pack. Let's see. 100 watt hour battery pack. Get something pretty decent at that price for a hundred dollars. Of course, this does not look as cool. This could do the same thing, similar thing. It looks a little bit bulky, doesn't it? Does definitely doesn't have the DC output that I would want, not necessarily need, but I would want. So yeah, overall, so you can't compare with stuff like this. This might have twenty six thousand hundred, roughly the equivalent output, but it's not going to be able to do. Or maybe not going to last as long as something that is, you know, where they tell you straight up who the batteries are from. Because these could be crappy batteries. For $34, you might be only getting what you're, what you're paying for. So if you stick to some company like Aki, one hour, what hour, let's see what they have going on here. Yeah, see, this does not look as cool. It's not going to provide enough amperage and charging speed as a, as a battery pack. So they do have something here that's going to be a little bit difficult to find right now in today's market. I suppose eventually these other companies will uh, catch up and produce something cool too, but you know, I guess it really takes, oh, what is this? 600. All right. So this looks pretty cool. I just wish I knew how shipping was and I don't think I can comment. Yeah. Only backers can post comment. All right. So I think this is a pretty cool battery pack. Probably one of the best or coolest ones that I've seen in a while. And looks like that one, uh, that one super fast one is gone now, but you know, it comes and goes. Yeah. So the, the super early bird is completely gone. Super value pack is also gone. Right here, two, one. Or you can get it with a 65 watt charger. I really don't care for the 65 watt charger. And double pack might make sense. This will not ship out until oh okay next month. So these are these are pretty much ready to go. And then if you want, you can get the extra pouches on here for yeah. See, it's a ten dollar value or twenty dollar value. You get these extra other features on here with just an additional uh, add-on. So $45 for the 65 watt charger, which I probably will not do. Yeah, I probably wouldn't care for that. 65 watt. So that would be if I get the super early bird. Oh, okay, United States is about $20 for shipping. So you're looking at $120, $160 for something really cool. One twenty for this one. One forty with a sixty-five watt charger. Bonus support. I guess we want to give him an additional tip. So one forty with a sixty, or I get the double super early bird pack. I think this makes a really cool gift for someone. Yeah, I think it does. All right, I'm going to pledge this one. Double pack. Oh, wait a second. Is it out? Are there no more? Let me go back and try to pledge it again. 
Let me make sure I go to my link. Go to go.mikemoo.com, not AppSumo. Go.mikemoo.com. Storm 2. Let's back this project. Let's make sure we get the double pack. Can I click it? Why can I click it? Oh, there we go. All right, so $30 shipping for two of them. So $227. Do I want the velvet pouch? No. I will get USB 2, C to C cables. These are, these could be pretty good. So I'll definitely want that. I don't think I want the Magnus Meyer wireless charger. All right. $29, no bonus for $247, and continue. Let's back it. All right. Let's do it. Let's do it. Cool. All right. Two pack. Obviously, there's still some available, and really, this is really going to be key. If you need something to fast charge, charge the battery pack in and fast charge out. I mean, one and a half hours for being able to charge a full on 100 watt hour battery pack that's pretty dang fast. That's charging, I guess, at least um, at 65, 65 watts. That's why they want to give you or they want to package it up with their 65 watt GAN charger. But if you're going to go that route, I would recommend that you check out something that Aki has. I'll have a link down below for that. And uh, get that one instead because that's going to give you a little bit more flexibility for around the $50 price range. Um, I would go with the USB-C to C cable because you're going to be able to do that full 5 amps out at 100 watts if you need to. You probably don't need to. But if you got a MacBook Pro and you need to charge USB-C output at the full on 85 watts, uh, this is going to be more than capable of doing that. All right. Those are my thoughts. I backed it. Uh, if it's still available and open, I suggest you back it too. Thanks for watching. Catch you next video.